She speaks to me when the wind blows. Newton. I hear her voice when the leaves dance and the trees gently sway. She speaks to me as my feet touch the earth. Aki. She tells me that I'm safe and I can feel her support beneath me. She speaks to me through the water. Nibby. I hear her voice through the rivers, streams, lakes, and ocean. And I feel her embrace when it rains. She speaks to me when I place my hand upon her. She tells me to slow down, to not only listen with my ears, but also with my heart. Nide. The love and respect that I hold for Mother Earth, Ni Mama Aki, and all our relations was born from my childhood. As I grew, the closeness that we shared began to slowly fade away. I used to believe that the reason we drifted apart was because she no longer spoke to me. It's taken me many years to realize that it was I who had forgotten how to listen. Several years ago, I started trail running. As I spent more time on the land, I started remembering how to listen. And once I started hearing her voice again, I felt connected to myself, my Anishinaabe culture, and to her. As I watch my children build their own relationship with Nima Ma'aki and witness all that she is teaching them, it has brought new meaning to walking gently for future generations. She reminds me that we all play a part. <laughs>